Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to do a quick demo showing how to mate one of our headers to your rocket motor. The process is simple, but before we jump into it, let's talk for just a minute about test fitting. First things first. Always test fit your motor before loading the comp. You don't want to put composition in one of these just to, fit, just to learn that the, the motor won't fit. Uh, these paper tubes, well, they, sometimes they can vary a little bit, and, and the plastic headers also have variances and tolerances as well. So when we, make, we want to make sure that they will uh, fit properly before adding any composition to the header. So with that said, uh, the tube is on, if the tube is only slightly oversized, uh, meaning it almost fits but not quite, you can take some sandpaper and just sand it down a little bit. However, we do not recommend doing that with a pressed motor. If you have a live motor, don't do that. Safety first. Um, if it's not even close, like there's no way it's going to fit, uh, you can take a razor blade, put a little slice in that tube, and then peel back the outer layer. That'll give you enough, it should give you enough tolerance or enough uh, room to insert it into that header. It doesn't take much, just enough, all you need to do is get it started. These are very, these things are very strong. Um, if the header is too small, you put it in and it's wobbly, there's no way it'll seal, no problem. Take a small piece of gum tape, wrap it on there, glue it down or get it wet, tape it down then your header will fit right on there nice and snug. Okay, <clears throat> so with all, with all that said, let's go through the process. Once your header has been test fit, simply drop it into the base and give it a gentle smack to lock it in. We'll do it with both of those. As you can see, they, they locks into place uh, nice and tight, gives you some uh, good wiggle room. Next, we need to insert our funnel to load our comp, uh, but first we come to the instructions that are included with every kit. It's very simple. Twist in, twist out. Remember that. Twist in, twist out. It's very important. If you try to go straight in, straight out, the O-ring will peel off and you'll just have a nice mess on your hands. So remember, very important. Twist in, twist out. Uh, one more thing to note, um, when these kits are new, the O-rings are new, uh, they fit very, very tight. It may not want to go in even with twisting motion. Uh, usually there's enough oil on your skin to uh, give it just enough lubrication to make that sucker twist in and twist out. Uh, after you make a few motors, these O-rings will break in and they'll, they'll move in and out a lot, uh, a lot easier. Okay, so... Twist in, our funnel is seated into the header, header's in the base. Now we need to add our composition. These long headers hold about 35 grams of 7030 uncompressed, uh, probably more if you tap it down or vibrate it. Um, if you use sensitive compositions, be sure to follow all standard safety protocols. This is very important. This is on you. Be safe. Once you dump your composition into the funnel, our fake composition, dump it into the funnel, use something to uh, tap the sides to settle it, like this stick. The bottom of the funnel matches to, mates to the internal stop ring, so you know it's full once you can actually see the bottom of the funnel. It's quite simple. If you accidentally add too much composition, no problem. The O-ring seals it up. Get rid of your extra composition. Tap it back down until you're at a safe level. Twist. Remove it. Put your funnel to the side. Now we need to take a little bit of uh, EM glue or Elmer's glue or whatever you have, it doesn't matter. It just takes a tiny little bit. We want to spread it evenly across that motor. Take that motor, put it right on top, twist and press down. There's an internal stop, we'll seat it. 
they're the same every single time, nice and consistent. Pop it out of the base, there you go. You have a completed motor. You can very quickly turn out a lot of these in a very short order. Uh, and that's it. Uh, one more thing, uh, clean up is quick and simple. These will get dirty. Take them to the sink, rinse them out, just use your finger and they, they clean up very, very quickly, very easily and you usually don't even need soap. Uh, just let it air dry. And that's it. Thanks for watching and happy shooting.